baby Nathaniel is three months old. He's undergoing a series of experiments designed to find out why babies die in their cots. His mother has the best motivation of all for cooperating with this scientific work. A year ago, Nathaniel's brother Edward died in his cot at the age of 10 months. He died during the night and uh, I found him dead in his cot when I went in in the morning at 7 o'clock. Um, I went into his room and uh, I looked in his cot and I couldn't see him at all which was unusual because he was usually sort of bobbing his head up and down. And uh, when I pulled the sheets and blankets back, he was right at the bottom of the cot, um, dead. Cot death is a medical mystery. In Britain, it's the biggest single killer of children in the first two years of their lives. 2,000 babies every year. The figure is horrific. The tragedy for the family, enormous. In desperation, this Hampshire practice have initiated an early warning system for the babies who they think might be at risk of dying in their cots. They call the system after the identifying mark on the baby's record card, the purple line. This is a purple line baby. Ten minutes ago, this Hampshire doctor received a call over his car radio. The health visitor was concerned. Christopher's weight has in fact stayed the same. He's still 0.47 kilograms, which he was last week. He's dropped, yeah. in fact, two channel widths mm. within the, yeah. the eight weeks. Yeah. Mm. I think we'll probably so find that it won't be a major problem at all. No. I think if we use some test weighing, we're going to find that things will rectify themselves very quickly. The Purple Line system has been running now for two years. Already, it's saving babies' lives in this particular town, Gosport. It simply speeds up the reactions of the medical services, from the health visitor, to the surgery, to the doctor, and if necessary, to the hospital. Dr. Coonan. The staff are alerted and appropriate action is taken probably rather quicker than it would under normal circumstances. A partner of mine, uh, Dr. North, was um, carrying our radio page of one afternoon at a lunchtime, and a lady rang the surgery saying that her child was off color with snuffles. But something that's reported to us many times and there are many causes for this obviously from the series.